Hi, my name's Tony. Um, I make neon signs, as you can see from all around me. Um, basically, yeah, I make neon signs and I've been doing for over 30 years. How did I start making neon signs? Blood, sweat and tears. Um, 30 years ago, I uh, went for a job interview um, and it was a company saying about, that made neon signs, obviously. And I went for the interview, got the job and absolutely fell in love with it. It's an amazing, amazing thing to do. Um, and obviously natural progression, I think, is to get your own company and do your own work. And here we are today. What do I love about this? Um, everything about it, you're making artwork, you're making neon signs from straight bits of glass, all bent by hand. Uh, it's the best job in the world by far, by far, yeah. What makes neon different than other products around? Um, it's glass for one, it's handmade, um, and neon isn't trying to pretend to be anything other than neon signs, which is what they are. It's very specialised making neon signs. Uh, it takes years and years to learn. It's not something you can pick up in five minutes. Um, you've really got to dig deep to, to, to want to do it. Um, and that shows in, in what we do here. It's, you know, it's, it's, as I say, it's not something you can pick up. You've really, really got to work at it. Um, it's a technique hasn't changed since 1912, the first neon sign was made. Um, the process is all still the same, but it stood the test of time. It really has. And it's just people's creativity that will keep it going and keep it alive. Um, you know, ideas and, and just try different things, which is what we always do here as well, as you, know, you can well see. Strange requests at work. Uh, swear words is always a good one we like doing. <laughs> it brings the child out in you. Um, yeah, we, anything different, we love things that are different. People's own handwriting. Um, we're working with a few artists at the minute that are doing really, really creative stuff and it's, it's nice, it's good, something different. Rather than, you know, I've said so many times before, rather than open kebabs, burgers, you know, we've moved on so much from that and we're just pushing the boundaries all the time of something that's been around for years. Our client list of making work for is it's very so much. We, we're very fortunate we haven't got one sort of set market that we work to. Um, we, you know, people's home bars, restaurants, uh, event industry, it's, it's just absolutely anything and anyone. TV work, music videos, anyone who wants a neon sign, basically. It's a real, like I say, we're fortunate we've not got one specific market that we work to. It's whoever wants a neon sign, everyone's welcome. I always feel very fortunate um, with what I do. I love what I do. I never feel I'm working. It's not a job. I never feel I'm coming to work. Um, it's, it's, it's always hasn't been like that. It's, you know, it's, it's hard to build a business, first of all. You've, you're coming from nothing. But if you believe in it and you keep going and, and just be honest with yourself, tell the truth, um, and you'll, you'll get success from it. And, you know, like I say, it's not a job. I just love what I do. And everyone who works here feels exactly the same. No one's ever late. No one's ever off sick. It's a great job. You create things. You're making something from scratch. What's not to love? My favourite piece... Good question. I get asked this a hell of a lot, and it, it, it changes by the uh, by the day. Um, I like the the UV glasses. A really good thing I'm working with at the moment. Trying to experiment with that. Um, I've just done a few pieces to do uh, with dance music and acid house scene and things like that. I'm really really happy about. So I'd I'd probably say them at the moment. Me me acid house pieces and dance music scene. That's the kind of thing I'm pushing at the moment. I really really like. So yeah today they are <laughs> we we're finding um especially the last few years that neon now been used more uh, for art rather than signage when i first started doing this many years ago it was um it was basic signage every sort of high street sign ad um, was illuminated by neon so when um leds and fluorescent tubes come along to the market the glass shops closed by you know overnight and i always saw that as this is one of the best things that could happen to the neon sign trade because now we're we're not hiding away behind perspex now we're in front of the perspex we're now showing what we can do with bending glass and it's now used as an art form so much more um and this is something we push ourselves we we, we try to make things a lot different than stand, i suppose standard artwork or yeah illumination what it's endless absolutely endless we we contacted Collect Art um, just basically on the off chance of trying to get our pieces out there because we, we're we starting to look around the walls and just see there's loads of hundreds of bits of neon hanging on the walls and 
we want to try and get it out and share it. So we contacted Collect Art. Um, Martin came along to see us. Um, a really nice bloke, really easy to get on with. Um, and he, he kind of really liked what we do. We made him have a, was it make him have a go. We insisted he had a go at bending glass. Um, and so people kind of understand what it's about. You, you sort of look around in here and you, you just see lights. Oh, that's really cool. But when you break it down, it's made from glass, handmade. Everything's bent by glass. It's a diff, you feel it differently. You understand things differently. So exhibiting there will be really interesting. I can't wait to sort of do it. And hopefully uh, it will be a success, yeah. So the show opens on the 17th of November, which is a Friday. Um, like I say, very excited. Um, can't wait to get it. And if people can come along and have a look, please do. Um, yeah, it's a nice, uh, a nice gallery as well. We're looking forward to being there. Can't wait.